Hi and welcome to another science revision video. In this video we're going to look at how you can calculate the efficiency of a device. Let's remind ourselves of what efficiency is. Efficiency tells us how much energy is transferred usefully by a device and not wastefully. The more energy is transferred usefully, the more efficient the device is. There's an equation for efficiency which you need to learn. The equation is efficiency equals useful energy output over total energy input. We measure energy in joules, so both the useful energy output and the total energy input need to be measured in joules. It's really important that if one of your energy values is given in kilojoules, that you convert it so that they both have the same unit. If you want to work out efficiency as a percentage, then what you need to do is times your final answer by 100. So you can either give your answer as a decimal or as a percentage if you times it by 100. Here's an example question calculating the efficiency of a toaster. A toaster transfers 650 joules of energy usefully out of a total of 700 joules. Calculate its efficiency. We're going to need to use the equation above and just substitute the values of energy we've been given in the question into our equation. Efficiency equals useful energy output over total energy input. Our useful energy input for this question is 650 and our total energy input is 700. If we put that into our calculator, it gives us an efficiency of 0 0.93. If you want your efficiency as a percentage, you just need to times that final answer by 100 to give you your percentage efficiency. In this case, that will be 93%. Both of these answers would be correct. What would not be correct is if you forgot to write the percentage after 93. 0.93 is acceptable, 93% is acceptable, but just 93 on its own is not. So make sure you either give your answer as a decimal, or if you've times by 100, you remember to write the percentage sign. Here's a couple of practice questions for you to have a go at using this equation. An appliance transfers 300 joules of energy usefully out of a total of 320. Calculate its efficiency. An appliance receives 2.2 kilojoules and transfers 1,925 usefully. Calculate its efficiency. Pause the video and have a go at these two questions. We use the same equation as before. Efficiency equals useful energy output over total energy input. In this question, our useful energy output is 300 and our total energy input is 320. We do 300 over 320. And if we put that into our calculator, it gives us 0.94. If we wanted this as a percentage, we just times it by 100, which would be 94%. For the second question, we're going to need to convert our units. We use the same equation as before. Our useful energy output is given in joules, but our total energy input is given as 2.2 kilojoules. So we need to convert that to 2,200 joules so that the units are the same. We then do 1,925 over 2,200, our useful over total. That gives us an efficiency of 0 0.88, or if we times it by 100, 88%. You can also calculate efficiency using the power rating of a device instead of energy. The equation for this would be efficiency equals useful power output over total power input. The only difference here is instead of giving an energy value, we're given a power value in watts. It's really important to remember that if you're given a useful power output, you also have to use a total power input. You can't mix and match power and energy. Again, if you want it as a percentage, you just need to multiply by 100. Here's an example for this. A device receives a total of 2,000 watts and transfers 1,800 watts usefully. Calculate its efficiency. We use the same energy as before and we substitute our power values in. Our useful power output is 1,800 and our total power input is 2,000. If we put that into our calculator, it will give us an efficiency as a decimal of 0.9. Or if we want to times it by 100 to get a percentage, that will be 90%. Sometimes an exam question will ask you to work out something other than efficiency. They might give you the efficiency and the useful power input and ask you to work out the total power output. For example, an appliance receives a total of 1,500 joules. It has an efficiency of 0.87. Calculate the useful energy transferred. 
So instead of working out the efficiency, you're trying to work out the useful energy output. We're going to use the same equation as before. Efficiency equals useful output over total input. And we're going to substitute in the values that we have. We know that the efficiency is 0 0.87. And that would be equal to the useful energy output, which we're trying to work out, over the total energy input, which is 1,500. If we rearrange this equation, 1,500 is on the bottom of one side of the equation, so it goes over to the top of the other side. That means 0 0.87 times 1,500 gives us our useful energy output. That would be 1,305 joules. Here are some practice questions for you to have a go at where you want to work out something other than the efficiency. This appliance receives 750 joules and has an efficiency of 96%. Calculate the useful energy output. The second appliance has an efficiency of 90% and it transfers 1.08 kilowatts usefully. Calculate the total power input. Pause the video and give these two questions a go. We're going to use the same equation as before. Our efficiency value had been times by 100, so we just need to take it back to a decimal, which would be 0 0.96. That's equal to the useful energy output over the total energy input, which is 750. If we rearrange these values to make useful energy output the subject, we get 0 0.96 times 750 is the useful energy output, and that would be 720 joules. For the second question, our efficiency is 90% or as a decimal 0 0.9. We'll need to convert our useful power output to 1080 watts in case the total power input is needed in watts. Now for this rearrangement, because 0 0.9 is on the top of the left side of the equation and our total power input is on the bottom of the right side, we can just swap them around. So that means total power input is equal to 1080 over 0 0.9. If we solve that, our total power input has a value of 1,200 watts. Pay attention to the unit that the question is asking for your answer to be in. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been useful for you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.